if you want to open a youtube automation channel and you don't know where to start or what niche to go in well don't look any further because that's exactly what we're going to be covering in today's video channel number one on our list guys is going to be a business documentary type channel leaving creating videos and making money with youtube videos aside this type of channels are going to be great channels to watch that i personally spend time on myself and I will guarantee that you'll like the content too. I'm speaking of channels like Hook, Company Man, Magnate Media and many more. Channels that make documentary type videos usually around subjects that are involving money. Maybe you've seen channels like Jay Tran or this one right here where they make documentaries about money, power and crime and if you have enjoyed those videos let me tell you how are they making money so you can do too. First, they are definitely at a whole different level. Yes, they are YouTube automation channels. They can be done with the freelancer team and that stuff, but they will definitely have a greater production cost. The videos are gonna cost you more money to produce, but they will also have much greater returns and not only financial ones. Let's take Magnet Media, for example, as they have been one of the most recent to blow up in the space. And I also know a couple of people who are working on the channel. And I can guarantee you that it follows the YouTube automation model to a T. Their videos are 15 to 20 minute documentaries on how the world's biggest companies were created from start to finish to today, appealing to such a broad audience that allows them to get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views on each and every single video, which is insane. In the last 30 days alone, for example, they've gotten close to 8 million views, which with a decent RPM of $6 made them just shy of $50,000 in AdSense revenue alone, but that's not all. When you manage to build such a big and impressive channel in such a complicated niche like documentaries, advertisers and brands will outbid themselves and make a queue basically to pay you so you can advertise their brands on your videos. And I'm pretty sure that this is exactly the case here as well. I think it's safe to say they can easily charge $10,000, if not more, for each video integration that they post because the advertisers have a track record of millions and millions of views. And think about it, if they do that for every video and they post four times a month, that's an extra $40,000 added to their income. Now, this sounds like a lot of money. We're getting close to $100,000 per month for a YouTube automation channel, but they also cost a lot of money to produce. So I should wanna show you the other side as well. First, I'm working with the thumbnail designer as well. Some of the thumbnails that you see here on my channel are made by the same thumbnail designer that makes their thumbnails. And he's also a coach in my YouTube automation community. And I know for a fact that he's charging them $200 per thumbnail, where the classic model, we say that we can get five to $10 per thumbnail. This guy is paying $200 for a thumbnail to be created. Same thing with the video editor. I'm in contact with a guy and this is the craziest number I've ever seen, but it's also probably one of the craziest productions I've also seen on YouTube. But a guy charges them $200 for an edited minute, right? So for every minute, a video that is being edited by this guy, it charges them $200, which means the average for one video is anywhere from $2,500 all the way to $35, maybe even $4,000 for a video to be edited. All in all, I think a safe bet for an end-to-end -end production, including the script and the voiceover and everything, is about $4,000, which is not beginner-friendly at all, I know, but as I said in the beginning, I wanted to show you guys the next level of YouTube automation, what YouTube automation can also do, and not just the $50 to $60 cost of production, but the $4,000 cost of production, but as well, the greater returns are also there. As I said in the beginning, despite the high cost of production, which basically if you have four videos a month for $4,000 each, $16,000, but you make, let's say conservatively $80,000, you're still doing quite well for yourself. Running a channel and building a channel like this has also other advantages. The brand side of things, for example, when you run a channel like this one, that's making, let's say $100,000 in top line revenue per month, I'm pretty, pretty sure that you can sell the brand for at least one to $2 million and you can have a pretty, pretty nice exit just from some videos that you somewhat posted on the internet. And I'm also sure that this also gives them a little bit of status where they can pretty much open any door, enter any room when it comes to media production, because they say, hey, I have this channel, this is what I can do, this is what I know to do, this is what my team does. Can you please give me this information or can you please connect me with this guy? Which is pretty, pretty powerful, especially if they want to continue to do plays like that. Now, if you want to start a channel like this one, what I would recommend is to do very, very well research prior to this, because as you can see, you're going to spend a little bit of money. I'm not saying $4,000, but you're going to spend at least a couple hundred to produce a video like that one. And you want to make sure that you do not really go wrong, or at least you don't fail with a lot of videos, because then it will become very, very expensive. What I would look in is finding an edge, right? You, maybe you cannot have the most expensive and the best production, which again, you basically have to outbid them, outspend them, which is pretty, pretty hard already. But maybe you find something that they do not see. Maybe you find something 
an angle, a company, a different type of thing, a different type of documentary that people haven't thought of doing yet. And then you will earn your seat at the table just by finding that edge. An idea that I had in the past was instead of talking about the companies, like how Apple, Microsoft, Samsung was founded, you talk about the founders, right? So how uh, Roman Abramovich made his money, how Bill Gates made his money, how Jeff Bezos made his money, right? You talk about the founder behind the companies and you kind of have a, a biography documentary type stuff. That could be an edge. I haven't seen a lot of people do that for business entrepreneurial people, and I'm sure there's an audience for it. Channel number two, a cartoon character channel, and buckle up for this one, because I'm pretty sure you haven't seen this anywhere else, and it can make you a ton of money. I don't know, I personally don't know why we don't have more people doing this, but there's one guy somewhere in Dubai who had the brilliant idea to create something that's now called Anna Whoop. Anna Whoop, it's a celebrity slash drama channel that talks about everything that's happening in Hollywood with the scandals and controversies, posting that on YouTube and getting millions and millions of views for posting that. Now, until this point, it's just a normal celebrity channel like we've seen before. We all know they can get millions of views and they can make very, very astonishing returns. But if you play one of their videos, you'll notice that once in a while, there's a cartoon with this blonde girl with a little bit of a beachy and judgy attitude entertaining the viewers, which is their million dollar play. This is basically taking the YouTube automation game to the next level and I think it's pure genius. Instead of just hiring influencers around the world to do the videos for us, from script writers to thumbnail designers to editors putting it together, Anna Whoop took it one step further and created a brand, created something to represent the channel. So it's not faceless anymore because we have a face, we have the cartoony in there, but the owner is not required to be on the videos like I am right now to sit in front of the camera and talk because the cartoon does all the job for him which behind the scenes is just a little bit more work. The scripts can be written the same way, it's just that the writer has to keep in mind that this will be referenced by a spoiled girl. The videos can be edited the same way, it just takes a little bit more time and a little bit more complexity because you have that cartoon and you want to animate it, you want to put it on the screen, but again, nothing that cannot be solved with a little bit more work. The thumbnails, literally nothing changed, they're exactly as they would look for a normal celebrity channel. But the only thing is the voice, which cannot really be changed, especially at this level, right? Because they've branded it with Anna, Anna Whoop, uh, this girl's voice. They have over 2 million subscribers. If they would change the voice right now, people would notice and would basically break the brand's identity. Anna Whoop would not be Anna Whoop anymore because the voice has changed. So that's the only thing that has to stay unchanged. So there's probably a contract or a little bit more complexity there to make sure the voiceover doesn't leave or doesn't overnight want to change the total conditions of the contract. But again, it's, it's doable. The stats are even crazier than the play, guys. In the last 30 days alone, they've gotten over 4 million views. 4 million views, which is not too shabby, but this is one of their worst months possible. Don't believe me, check the stats, and still made them approximately $15,000. But even crazier, guys, is that this channel was started two and a half years ago, and since its existence, it has gotten over 665 million views, which, with a very, very conservative RPM of $3.3, made the owner of this channel, which again, never showed his face, never created any videos, over $2.2 million. I know that sounds insane, but wait, there's more. Did I told you they also took this brand of Anna and took it one step further where they have Anna Solves, Anna Play, Anna Horror Stories, and Anna Uncovered? They also have an additional four channels, which I'm not gonna run the numbers, I'm not gonna display them here because I know most of you guys won't believe me. Just trust me, it's a lot, a lot of money. Look, if you're serious about YouTube automation and you want to turn this into something big, a cartoon character channel is definitely something you want to consider. Going to channel number three, playing it a little bit more long term and a little bit more conservative, we have a search based tutorial channel. I'm speaking of channels like this or like this. Those are probably my favorite YouTube automation channels and it's a shame that I only have one of those in my portfolio, but it's making me about $10,000 per month. Let's take a look at this one, for example, Max Dalton. As you can see, the channel is uploading all sorts of tutorials on how to do stuff on PayPal, Android, YouTube, Roblox, Xbox, all that good stuff. And I know that at the first surface level look, you would say the channel isn't even profitable because they only get a couple hundred views per video. So how are they making money? How are they successful? That's not enough views. Now, if you look at the monthly views, they got 1.4 million views in the last 30 days alone, which with an average RPM of $5, let's say, although I'm confident that it could be much, much higher due to the nature of the videos, made them not less of $7,000 in a single month. Now, where are all those views coming from? Old videos. 
With those search-based channels, guys, the play is to build a massive portfolio of massive collection of videos that will slowly but steadily rank on search and make views and dollars for you each and every single day for many, many years to come. Imagine planting a seed that won't do anything, won't give you anything for the first five months, but starting month six, will start giving you very, very small, but compounding and almost guaranteed returns. Now imagine you have a hundred seeds, a thousand seeds, three thousand seeds. You get the point. See what I'm saying? They might not work immediately, but over a long enough time horizon, if people want to see that type of video, if people are interested or have a tutorial or have a need for that type of stuff, it will rank and it will generate views and dollars for the channel owner for many, many years. If you look at Max Dalton channels and filter by the most popular, you can see that he has videos from years ago that are getting 5, 10, 25 views per hour to this day, making him money as we speak. And that's just one of the reasons why this type of channel is my favorite one. So let's go and let's look at a little bit more reasons why I think this is a brilliant, brilliant channel. There are so many types of videos you can do. You can do phone tutorials, browser tutorials, Android tutorials, Windows tutorials, social media tutorials, even business tutorials. Nate O'Brien, for example, has a channel called Centrell Media doing those type of videos and getting a lot, a lot of views. And they're making around $50,000 per month according to the math that I've just done right here. You'll have to believe me on that one. The second reason why I really, really love those types of channels is that the barrier to entry is very, very low. Compared to the other YouTube automation channels where you kind of need to have a budget, for this one, you can start it on your own. All you need is a phone and a recording software, and you can just show the world, and maybe a microphone, you can show the world how to do things on Snapchat, how to do things on Instagram, how to do things on Android, how to do things on iPhone. And then, if you have time and you're willing to put in the effort, that can turn into a lot of money over a long enough time horizon. The third reason why I really, really like this type of channels, guys, is because it's a game where if you wait, you win. Now, if you wanna get millions of views overnight and you wanna go viral and if you wanna flex, this is not the best play because that will not really gonna happen. But if you're willing to wait and post a lot of videos and stay consistent with it over a long enough period of time, the compound effect is one of the nicest things I've seen with YouTube automation channels and this is it to a T. Now guys, I hope you can take one of those three channels and turn it into a massively successful YouTube automation channels and if you do, all I want in exchange is for you to watch this video right here as well.